Now, first of all, if whenever I'm dealing with the, whenever I'm doing with my reciprocal functions, um, first thing I want to do is write it as it's reciprocal. Huh? For the third homework? Yeah, I think he, yeah, he's just going back to the other one. Um, so in this one, we have cosine of pi over 3. Now, you might not remember pi over 3. And you can see that pi over 3 is equivalent to 60 degrees. So it's basically 1 over the cosine of 60 degrees. We also recognize that the, sec or the secant of any angle is the hypotenuse over the adjacent. Right? Now, if we're talking about something that's 60 degrees, If you guys created a 30, 60, 90 triangle, you guys would have this relationship, right? OK. So the secant of 60 degrees is simply hypotenuse over adjacent. Do you agree with that's the adjacent side for 60 degrees? So the answer is 2 over 1. That's one way to look at it. Um, the other way to look at it is we could also know that, remember, secant is 1 over cosine of 60 degrees. Let's, what is on the unit circle? Cosine of 60 degrees, if you guys think about that, rather than creating a triangle, if you guys are like having trouble creating a triangle, if you go back and look at where was 60 degrees, what was the coordinate point where cosine represent, um, cut that up? Cut the uh, square root of 2 comma square root of 3 over 2. That's for 60 degrees. If you guys all look at your unit circle, right? Do you guys agree with me? 1 over square root of 2. So therefore, if I say the secant, of pi over 3, which is the same thing as 60 degrees. I'm sorry. Yeah, pi over 3 is the same thing as 60 degrees. We know that's equivalent to 1 over the cosine of 60. Well, the cosine of 60 is equal to the x coordinate, which is 1 over 1 half. Right? I'm just doing this a different way because you can do both. Well, how do you do 1 divided by 1 half? You multiply by the reciprocal. So it equals 2. So two different ways to think about it. You could think about it using triangles. Or you could think about it using the unit circle. Because now we have the unit. So what we have.